Senpai the Realtor here. If you've been waiting for mortgage rates to drop, I've got some really bad news for you. If you want to find out what you need to know about potentially lower mortgage rates, then you definitely want to watch this video. Well, as we know, mortgage rates today are much higher than they were, say, a couple of years ago. In the early part of 2022, rates were pretty low, like two and a half, three and a half percent. It was a smorgasbord. A lot of people who uh, were buying properties were getting very cheap money, and a lot of people refinanced their homes, and so they are also in very low rate mortgages. But right around uh, late February, March of 2022, mortgage rates all of a sudden spiked up way way up and they've been up pretty much ever since now since they reached their current plateau which is somewhere around seven percent and they were up at maybe eight percent or sometimes for some borrowers even a little bit more than that um, a while back uh, but a lot of people have been saying that don't worry mortgage rates are going to come down soon actually you've heard a lot of this from realtors and mortgage people saying well you marry the house but you date the rate Right? There's this um, storyline that people have been telling for a long time that mortgage rates are only temporarily high and that they'll be coming down again pretty soon. In fact, the consensus had been that we would be seeing several rate cuts this year in 2024. The thought was that we would be seeing mortgage interest rates dropping down into the fives. There was a lot of people saying, yeah, they'll be coming down into the fives and that will uh, increase affordability, increase buying power. And a lot of sellers have felt that it would mean that buyers would be able to offer more for their homes and that that was a reason why they should wait to list their homes until there is a more favorable interest rate environment. Now, I myself have long been a skeptic about this decline in mortgage rates uh, because we've been hearing it now pretty much for just about a couple of years ever since rates shot up. There has been this ongoing story that rates would be coming down, but it just hasn't happened. And I don't think that it's going to happen. Uh, that's because rates typically shoot up pretty quickly and then it takes them a good long while for them to end up coming down. In the 1990s, the decade began with rates around, I think it's 9.83% or something like that. And then 10 years later, at the end of the 1990s, Rates were down to only 8. Point, I think 8.06 percent, something like that. So it took 10 years for rates to fall 2 percent. Uh, people have been saying that rates are going to be dropping because the Fed is going to want to uh, stimulate the economy once inflation has come down. Unfortunately, inflation isn't really coming down that much. Now, it is down quite a bit from what it was, uh, say, a year ago. Uh, inflation these days is somewhere around, I believe it is, 3.2% year over year. But that is comfortably above the Fed's target rate, which is 2%. And actually, inflation ticked up in March. It was, I think, 3.1%. Now it's 3.2%, something like that. Inflation is heading in the wrong direction. But the real kicker here is that the economy is still doing pretty well. A lot of people don't feel it because inflation has uh, risen so much. For many people, inflation has risen considerably faster than any wage gains. Although uh, lately, uh, for the past year, uh, wage gains have increased over inflation by about 1%. But aside from inflation, the economy seems to be doing rather well. In March, the economy added 303,000 new jobs. That is the 39th straight month of job creation and unemployment ticked down to 3.8%. Now, while inflation remains elevated and job growth remains strong, I simply don't see the Federal Reserve lowering interest rates this year. A lot of people have been hoping it's going to happen, but the economy just keeps on going and inflation remains stubbornly high. So I just don't think that it's in the cards. Certainly anybody planning to see lower rates this year in 2024, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, rates will always fluctuate, right? They were lower uh, in December than they are today. So they've basically been going up all year long. They could continue to go up, but I expect overall that they will remain within a fairly tight band hovering somewhere around 7%, give or take. I don't really see there being a great reduction in mortgage rates until something comes along to derail the economy. 
And if something comes along to derail the economy, that's probably going to mean job losses. Job losses mean there's going to be fewer buyers and fewer buyers mean there's going to be a lower sale price for your house, not a higher sale price for your house, even if mortgage interest rates do come down. If you're a seller and you've been waiting for a time when mortgage interest rates are lower, thinking that you'll be able to get more money for your home, I would caution you on that. I think that you may end up waiting a long time and that when those lower rates do come, it will be in an economy that is nowhere near so favorable a time to sell your house as there is right now. Because right now we have a situation where home prices are still rising in spite of the fact that mortgage rates are so high. And there is only one simple reason for that. And that is because there are very, very few homes for sale. There is a lot of supply and demand. While demand is not super, super strong because prices are so high, there's also a very low supply. So you have a relatively limited pool of very well qualified affluent buyers who are fighting with each other over this small supply of homes and driving home prices up. But if there were a disruption in the economy, there would be job losses. People would be moving to sell their homes. There would be more inventory on the market at a time when there are less buyers for those homes and that would bring down home prices. So if you've been waiting for this time when mortgage interest rates finally do come down as being the signal for when the market is about to heat up again, I think that you will end up being gravely disappointed. The market is really hot right now. There are so very few homes for sale and there is no point in waiting for a better day than right now. Because as we all know, that sunnier tomorrow is not promised to any of us. All right, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, I'm guessing just a guess that you might also enjoy some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do take a look. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and please stay tuned.